So today's lesson is about competition in plants. So the three main things that plants will compete for, first of all light, um, because that is needed for photosynthesis, the chlorophyll in the chloroplast absorb the light and this energy, light energy is converted into chemical energy in the form of glucose. They also compete for water. Again, they will need this for photosynthesis, as you know from the equation of the for photosynthesis. And also it keeps uh, the tissues rigid and the plant upright. They will also uh, compete for nutrients in the soil or minerals in the soil so that they can make the chemicals that they need in their cells. Uh, for instance, magnesium, they'll need to make chlorophyll, um, nitrates, they'll need to use, uh, they'll need to, to make proteins. So why do plants compete? Why do they need to compete? Well, basically, if a plant sheds its seeds right next to where the parent plant is, it'll end up being in di direct competition with the parent plant and the other seedlings that are about to grow. Um, because the parent plant is larger and settled and well developed, it's actually going to take the resources from the offspring. So it's really not advantageous if the seeds all land together or if they land close to the um, parent plant. So they have adaptations so that it can spread the seeds over a wider area. Um, if they grow, if they spread widely apart, that means they will avoid competition with each other. There are also other adaptations that plants can have to maximise the amount of light that they can get. So, for instance, snowdrops, they um, bud and they flower earlier in the year, before, earlier in spring, before the actual the trees and the bigger plants get leaves. So, therefore, there's still light that can reach the woodland floor. So, they're the first plants that will show on a woodland floor. Also, another thing they can have is different root types. Uh, they can have shallow roots to get that surface water. Or they can have deep roots to get the, the water deep in the ground. Um, and it means that the plants won't compete with each other. If one species has shallow roots and the other species has longer roots, then it won't compete. Um, also, if one plant grows in the shade of another, it can maybe grow taller. You do get some types of plants which wrap around taller trees in order to reach the, the top of the canopy in the forest. Um, or if it was in the forest floor, you would um, they could develop leaves with a larger surface area in order to maximise the light absorption. There are many different types of adaptations of different species to spread their seeds. So a lot of seeds are spread in the wind. So very, very small seeds can just be simply carried by the air currents of the wind. Um, some um, seeds can actually have special adaptations. So like the dandelion has little clock parachutes which get caught in the wind and carried along. Um, so you can see this here. Then you've got sycamore trees, which have like wings, uh, which spin around in the wind so that they can land a bit further away. Uh, there's mini explosions. So an example of this would be uh, poppy seeds. So the pod will basically dry out and then it'll twist and pop and release all its seeds. Then you can have some, dew, uh, some berries and fruits obviously will attract animals to eat them. So the animal will eat them, then it will travel a bit further, and then as it excretes um, the seeds through its faeces, it will act as a fertiliser. So the animal itself is carrying the seed further away. And then also you can get sticky fruits or hooks. Um, so... When I've been for walks in the forest, my brother always used to find it funny to stick these little green um, plants to my jumper. So they're, they're, they're actually an adaptation to help the animals carry it along. And you've also got little hooks so things can get stuck into the um, 
recovery of bees or they could get stuck onto a fur of animals so that they can carry them along and they'll drop off further down the line. So a good competitor in terms of plants um, would be one that has faster growing plants and which will make it more successful so if they get their roots in the soil first and they get the first bit of water then they're more likely to be successful than something that takes a bit longer um, also if they open the leaves faster they're going to photosynthesize faster they're going